Suppose you publish the website from your house network and you created a DNS record that points to your router's public IP address. But ISP typically assigns a dynamic IP address to your router, which may change at any time. When your IP address changes, your DNS record remains pointing to the old IP address that is no longer yours. As a result, your website becomes inaccessible. So, how do you keep your DNS record updated when your public IP address changes? To solve this issue, we have to set up a DDNS or Dynamic DNS service on the router. In this video, I'll show you how to configure DDNS on a TP-Link router. Please follow the steps to set up your DDNS on the TP-Link router. First, log into your router's admin panel. Once logged in, click on Dynamic DNS. Now there are many Dynamic DNS providers out there, some free and some are paid. My TP-Link router supports three DDNS service providers, DYN DNS, NoIP and COMEX. We'll go with the NoIP since it's free. We have to create a NoIP account. Once you create an account, you'll get your domain name and a NoIP username and password. So click on this link, which will open the noip.com website. To create a free account, click on sign up. Enter your email address, create a password, type in a host name of your choice. From the drop down, you can choose any of these free domains. For example, you can choose ddns.net. Now scroll down and click free sign up. No IP will send a confirmation mail to your email address. So go to your email inbox. Click on this activation link which will activate your no IP account. Once your account is activated, you will be able to log in using your username and password. NoIP provides one host name for free. You can use it on the router to configure DDNS. So copy the host name from here. Enter the host name in the domain name field. Then enter your NoIP username and password. Tick the box to enable DDNS and then click the login button. If your setup is correct, you will see a success message here.